Good morning ladies and gentlemen. In this video, we are going to cover the current affairs. For mobile optimized ebooks, please install GK Today Academy app. You can attempt the quiz in this app and you can read detailed explanation. For regular updates, please join our Telegram channel. The link is given in the description box. We have started a new channel Civil Academy. You can subscribe to it if you find it relevant. The content on this Civil Academy channel is for state PCS examinations and for UPSC examinations. Now let's start. Swab Lamban Sashak Mega Campaign has been launched by the Confederation of Women Entrepreneurs of India and which entity? So this entity is SIDBI. SIDBI in association with COWE has launched this Swab Lamban Sashak Mega Campaign. What is SIDBI? It is Small Industries Development Bank of India. So this campaign has been launched to promote the Stand Up India scheme. Under Stand Up India scheme, the loan is provided to set up new enterprise. And this loan is provided to at least one SC or ST borrower and at least one woman borrower. Now, SIDBI is Small Industries Development Bank of India. It is the implementation authority for PM Swanithi scheme. PM Swanithi scheme is a scheme for street vendors. And it is a scheme by Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. Where is the Brahmaputra Valley Fertilizers Corporation Limited? So, it is in Assam. Previously, it was named as Namru Fertilizer Complex. It is situated on the bank of Delhi River in Assam. Recently, it was in news because CCEA, that is Cabinet Committee on Economic Affairs, approved the proposal of Department of Fertilizers for a aid of 100 crore rupees to this BV FCL so that it can continue its operations for its urea manufacturing. Now, first thing first, who is the head of the CCEA? That is Cabinet Committee on Economic Affairs. So this committee is headed by Prime Minister. And this Brahmaputra Valley Fertilizer Corporation Limited is in Assam. The RBI restricts withdrawal from the bank under the provisions of which act. So RBI is the regulator of banking sector in our country. RBI stands for Reserve Bank of India. And it can impose restrictions on the withdrawals from specific banks. And this is being done as per the provisions of Banking Regulation Act of 1949. So why this entire issue was in use? Because recently, RBI imposed restrictions on withdrawals from Independence Cooperative Bank Limited and it is situated in Nasik. Nasik is in Maharashtra. So why this was done? This was done because of the present liquidity position of the bank. RBI is our banking sector regulator. It was recently in use because of D. SIB. So DSIB stands for Domestic Systemically Important Banks. So these banks are vital for our economy. Fame India scheme is associated with which sector? So it is related to electric vehicle. Actually, the Fame stands for Faster Adoption and Manufacturing of Hybrid and Electric Vehicles in India. First thing first, which is the nodal ministry for the scheme? So the nodal ministry for the scheme is Ministry of Heavy Industry. Objective is to promote electric vehicles and hybrid vehicles. Hybrid vehicles means what? Hybrid vehicles means those who are running on your current fuel system that is on petrol or diesel or gas and they can run on electric concept also. That means they can run with the help of battery as well. So this will have combination of both. Now recently, Delhi government announced a policy for the promotion of electric vehicles and the name of this policy is Switch. Delhi. So recently this fame scheme was in use because the phase 2 of fame scheme is implemented with a total budgetary allocation of 10,000 crore rupees. And as per this scheme, subsidies will be provided for the promotion of electric vehicles. As per recent study, the tap water assess in which state is a predictor of dengue infection risk. So this is about New Delhi. Recently a study was published in PLOS Neglected Tropical Disease Journal. And as for that, the tap water assess in the densely populated areas of Delhi is a strong predictor of dengue contraction risk. So a survey was conducted and as per that survey, it was found that the houses, those who are having access to tap water were associated with the higher risk of virus exposure. Now, what is the meaning of this term? Neglected tropical disease. So these are diseases which are found in the tropical countries and usually these diseases are neglected. Which organization in association with the European Union is launching 40 million euro COVID-19 vaccine program for its six former Soviet republics. So this has been done by European Union in association with World Health Organization. So this is a COVID vaccine program for six 
former Soviet republics, and these six countries are Armenia, Azerbaijan, Belarus, Georgia, Ukraine, and Moldova. So European Union, in association with World Health Organization, is going to provide vaccines to these countries. Recently, WHO was in news because Dr. Harshwadhan presided over the executive board of WHO. Recently, WHO was also in news because USA decided to rejoin WHO. Which organization is to supply the super rapid gun mounts for Indian Navy? So BHEL is going to supply the super rapid gun mounts for Indian Navy. What is BHEL? It is Bharat Heavy Electricals Limited. So it is a public sector entity and the headquarters of BHEL is in New Delhi. So it is going to provide these super rapid gun mounts and these are going to be for Indian Navy. Recently, Indian Navy was in news because of Tropex. So Tropex 21 was in news. What is Tropex? It is a largest exercise by Indian Navy. And this was organized in Indian Ocean region. Which state or union territory has associated with the UK-based space agency for flood forecasting? So Uttar Pradesh has collaborated with UK-based space agency for flood forecasting. So Jammu and Kashmir has collaborated with UK-based space agency for flood forecasting. And the name of this program is National Space Innovation Program. As per the recent government release, which state suffered the highest crop loss due to floods in 2019? So this is Madhya Pradesh. So in 2019, this was worst hit state in terms of crop loss because of floods. Recently, Madhya Pradesh was also in news because of Jal Abhishekam initiative. The state was also in news because of police museum on Chambal Dakats. Which country has unveiled a draft Humans in Space Policy 2021? So this has been unveiled by our space organization ISRO. ISRO stands for Indian Space Research Organization. The headquarters of ISRO is in Bengaluru. It is under Department of Space. Present ISRO chief is Dr. K. Sivan. So ISRO has recently unveiled the draft Humans in Space Policy. And this policy seeks to facilitate startups and the local industries, that means indigenous industries, to build the technologies for the human space program of ISRO. What is the new upper limit or upper ceiling for family pension as per the Ministry of Personal, Public Grievances and Pensions? So the upper limit is 1,25,000. Previously, it was 4,500. So this is about the provisions for upper limit for a family pension. Now, under this ministry, there is a department and it is Department of Pension and Pensioners Welfare. This is under Ministry of Personal, Public Grievances and Pensions. Present Minister for Ministry of Personal is Dr. Jitendra Singh. Which Union Ministry announces the IIP, that is Index of Industrial Production. So this is announced by CSO, that is Central Statistical Organization. And the CSO is under MOSPI. What is MOSPI? It is Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation. So this ministry released the index of industrial production. As the name suggests, it is a data to reflect the industrial production in our country. Now, as per the recent addition, this IIP grew 1% for December 2020. So IIP is an indicator of industrial activity in the economy. Now, in this IIP, core sectors represents about 40% of weightage of this IIP. Yoshiro Mori who was in news recently is a former prime minister of which country so he is a former prime minister of japan recently he was in news because he resigned from the post of president of tokyo organizing committee for tokyo olympics please note that tokyo is the host of 2021 olympic games tokyo is in japan and yoshiro mori was the head of this organization committee for these games recently one more former prime minister of Japan was in news and he is Shinjo Abe. So why he was in news? Because recently he was given Padma Vibhushan Award by Government of India. Recently Japan was in news as it announced that it is going to join this Five Eyes Alliance. What is this Five Eyes Alliance? So it is an association of five countries to share the intelligence. So these five countries are Canada, USA, UK, Australia and New Zealand. Now. Japan announced that it is going to be part of this alliance. Which country has detected huge optical flare in BL Lasarte, an oldest astronomical object? So this has been detected by 
India and recently DST that is the Department of Science and Technology reported that Indian astronomers have detected huge optical flare in BL Lasarte. Now what is this BL Lasarte? It is a supermassive black hole or blazer. Now recently this DST was also in news because of SERB. What is SERB? It is Science and Engineering Research Board. So recently this board was in news because it announced SCRB Women Excellence Award. SCRB stands for Science and Engineering Research Board and it is under DST that is Department of Science and Technology which country records the world's highest number of road crash deaths. So it is unfortunate that India is on top position in terms of road crash death. Recently World Bank released a report and it is traffic crash injuries and disabilities the burden on Indian society. Our road transport minister is Nitin Gadkari. Recently he was in news because he launched India's first CNG tractor. So this CNG tractor has been converted from diesel. That means this was a diesel tractor which was converted into CNG. CNG stands for compressed natural gas. Now the CNG is a clean fuel and therefore it will have lower carbon emission. So this will reduce the amount of pollutants in the environment and this is more affordable than diesel. So A it is affordable, B it will be less polluting. As per the recent government data, what percentage of India's prison inmates are illiterate? So recently MHA that is Ministry of Home Affairs released a data related to India's prison inmates and as per that 23.37 percentage of total inmates are illiterate. Now again you need not to remember the exact figure but you should have a fair idea that this is the number of people. Now recently MHA was in news because of Ayushman CAPF scheme. So it is a scheme for CAPF that is Central Armed Police Forces. CAPF are under Ministry of Home Affairs. So for this Ayushman CAPF, Ministry of Home Affairs has collaborated with National Health Authority. Maharaja Suhaldev was the ruler associated with which ancient Indian city? So. He was associated to Sravasti and this was in Gangtic Plains and presently it is in Uttar Pradesh. Why it was in news? Because Prime Minister laid the foundation stone of memorial of Maharaja Suhaldev. So this is in Uttar Pradesh. To be specific, this memorial is going to be in Bahraj. Recently, the state of Uttar Pradesh was in news because it introduced a system of allocation of unicodes, a 16 digit unicode to the land holdings in the state of Uttar Pradesh. In which state the Chittora Lake is situated? So this lake is in state of Uttar Pradesh and a river named Teri Nadi originates from this lake. It is also an important Hindu pilgrimage site. Why it was in use? Because recently Prime Minister inaugurated said Prime Minister inaugurated certain development works in this Chittora Lake. Now recently Uttar Pradesh was also in use because of one more lake and it is Keetham Lake. It is also known as Sur Sarovar. So this is a bird sanctuary in Agra and this Keetham Lake is in this Sur Sarovar bird sanctuary in Agra. Why it was in use? Because recently it became a part of Ramsar site. So Ramsar is a convention for the protection of wetlands and Ramsar convention was signed in 1971. Ramsar is a name of place in Iran. Prime Minister dedicated the 6000 crore petrochemical complex of BPCL in which state. So it was launched in Kerala at Kochi factory of BPCL and recently Prime Minister Modi dedicated this Bharat Petroleum's petrochemical complex for propylene derivatives. Now this PDPP will produce acrylic acid, oxo alcohol and acrylides. Usually these products are imported in India but now with the help of this new plant these will be manufactured in our country. The center is in Kerala. Recently Kerala was because it opened its first human milk bank. Kerala was also in news because of India's first gender park. Kerala was also in news because of India's first labor movement museum. So the first labor movement based museum is going to be set up in Kerala. Grand Anikut Canal system is located in which state? So this is also known as Kalanai and it is one of the oldest water regulating structure in the world and it was constructed during Chola regime. Recently it was in use because Prime Minister laid foundation stone for the extension, renovation and modernization of this Grand Anikat 
canal system and this is in Tamil Nadu. Recently Tamil Nadu was in news as it will have fifth tiger reserve. Answer in comment box what is the name of this tiger reserve? We discussed this question couple of days ago. Now Tamil Nadu was also in news because it won Sayed Mustaq Ali trophy and it is a T20 tournament related to cricket. Olympus Mons which was in news recently is the largest in the solar system. So it is the largest volcano in the solar system and it is present in, in the planet Mars and it is a type of shield volcano and it is over two times the height of Mount Everest. Why it was in news? Because recently the HOPE mission of UAE sent the images of Mars and this recently captured the Olympus Mons volcano. So this is the largest volcano in the solar system. The HOPE probe is a mission on Mars by UAE. Recently Tianwen-1 was also in use. It is also a mission on Mars and it is by China. Apart from that NASA's mission for Mars was also in use and it is Perseverance. So you just need to remember the name along with the appropriate country. So NASA is the space agency of USA. Bayern Munich which won the final of FIFA Club World Cup in Qatar is the football club of which country? So it is a football club of Germany and recently it won the FIFA Club World Cup and it held in Qatar. Qatar is a country in West Asia. The capital of Qatar is Doha. Qatar is the host of FIFA 2022 World Cup. Recently, Doha was in news because of US Taliban peace deal. Taliban is a militant group of Afghanistan. Which organization endorsed the first ever voluntary guidelines on food systems and nutrition? So this was endorsed by CFS that is Committee on World Food Security and this endorsed the first ever voluntary guidelines on the food system and nutrition. Please note that the CFS is a international and intergovernmental platform and it is co-funded by United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization that is UNFAO. FAO stands for Food and Agriculture Organization. The headquarters of FAO is in Rome. It is in Italy. Finance Ministry is to infuse a capital of amount into the three state-owned general insurance companies. So 3000 crore will be infused into the government general insurance companies and this will be done by the finance ministry amount is 3000 crore so these three companies are nicl that is national insurance company limited uiicl that is united india insurance company limited and oriental insurance company limited apart from that the government decided to increase the authorized share capital of these companies so the authorized share capital of nicl is 7500 crores the authorized share capital of UIICL and OICL is 5000 crore rupees each. Mahatma Gandhi National Fellowship Program has been launched by which union ministry? So this has been launched by Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship. This is a nationwide program which has been launched in partnership with various IIM that is Indian Institute of Management and this has been launched as a part of Sankalp initiative. What is Sankalp? It stands for skill acquisition and knowledge awareness for livelihood promotion scheme. Now for the skill development in our country there is an initiative and it is Skill India initiative and the implementation authority for this initiative is NCDC that is National Skill Development Corporation. Which country has launched cargo ship with supplies to ISS that is International Space Station. So this country is Russia and it has launched this initiative progress ms-16 so with this it successfully loaded the supplies for iss that is international space station now please note that this iss is a collaboration of different space agencies and it is habitable artificial satellite in low earth orbit as per recent report startups founded in which indian city are more than in san francisco in the past five years so answer is Bangalore. That means the number of startups founded in Bangalore has been higher than in San Francisco. San Francisco is in USA. Bangalore is in Karnataka. So recently a report was released in this context and it was released by Traction. So this is a name of company which tracked the investment. As per this report, in terms of startups, Bangalore is on top position and it surpassed San Francisco. Now in the context of startups, there is initiative startup 
India. It is an initiative by Commerce Ministry. It was launched in 2016. Recently, it completed five years on that occasion. The Commerce Ministry, in association with BIMSTEC, organized Praram Initiative. This Praram Summit was organized on the occasion of five years of this Startup India scheme. Which country announced its liberalized guidelines to its national mapping policy and geospatial data? So this has been announced by India and recently DST, that is Department of Science and Technology, announced major changes to its mapping policy. Now, this was done to enable the Indian companies to assist the modern mapping technologies. Now, there is no restriction on the acquisition and production of geospatial data and geospatial data services, including maps. DST is under MST, that is Ministry of Science and Technology. Under this, two departments are there. One is DBT, another is DST. Which Indian state has launched mass scheme to provide meal at 5 rupees to the poor people? So, this has been done by West Bengal. The Chief Minister is Mamta Banerjee. The name of scheme is MA. Objective is to provide subsidized meal to the poor people. Recently, West Bengal was also in news because of first tram library. It was also in news because of first boat library. Apart from that, the biggest solar tree was installed in West Bengal recently. West Bengal was also in news because of India's first underwater metro project. In addition to that, the state was also in news because of Sarkar Aapke Dwar initiative. What is INS Karanj, which was in news recently with reference to Indian defense? So, it is a Scorpion submarine. Why it was in news? Because recently, Indian Navy got its third Scorpion submarine and it was commissioned in Mumbai as INS Karanj. It is a part of Project 75. So, Mazgao Dok Shipbuilders Limited has delivered three Scorpion class submarines to the Indian Navy so far. And what are these three Scorpion class submarines? One is INS Khanderi, one is INS Kalwari and INS Karanj. Recently, Indian Navy was also in news because of Tropax. So, it was the largest exercise by Indian Navy and it was organized in Indian Ocean region. The long-range surface-to-air missile was developed by which organization? So, it has been developed by DRDO. What is DRDO? It is Defense Research and Development Organization. It is under MOD, that is Ministry of Defense. So, recently, this final batch of LRSM, that is Long Range Surface to Air Missile, was flagged off. Now, what is the meaning of this term? Surface to Air. So, suppose this is the surface, so it will be launched from this and then it is going to hit the target in the air. So, this missile system has been developed by DRDO in collaboration with different entities and it has been integrated by BDL. What is BDL? It is Bharat Dynamics Limited. So, since this missile system has the capability to hit the target in the air, this will provide us defense against the aerial targets including fighter aircrafts and missiles. So, it can destroy any upcoming missile in the air. Aribada is a term related to which species? So, this question is repeated in various examinations. It is related to sea turtle and it describes the mass migration of sea turtle and a large number of female sea turtles assemble at the nesting site on the beach. Now, why it was in news recently? Because of different cyclones such as Cyclone Nevar and Burevi. The nesting season got delayed this time. Usually, it starts in November, but because of these cyclonic events and because of climate change conditions, this nesting season got delayed. Which institution releases the data on the credit and deposit measures of banks in India? So, it is released by Central Bank. So, it is released by our Central Bank, that is Reserve Bank of India. So, recently, RBI released the data on the credit and deposit of banks across the country. And as for this recent data, the bank credit grew at the rate of 5.93%. Now, if you are preparing for any bank examination, then obviously, this exact number is important for you. But if you are preparing for any other exam, then you just need to remember that there is approximately 6% growth in the bank credit. On the other hand, the deposits grew at the rate of 11%. Which manufacturing group has proposed to set up 5000 crore rupees phone component manufacturing unit in Tamil Nadu? So, this has been proposed by Tata Group. And to be specific, this has been proposed by Tata Electronics. So, they are going to invest 5000 crore rupees for a phone manufacturing component in 
Tamil Nadu. Recently, Tamil Nadu was also in news because of Grand Anikat Canal. Heritage Corridor Project, which was in news recently, is associated with which state? So, it is associated with Odisha government. And recently, Jagannath Temple Management Committee approved this project. It is a 800 crore rupees project. The objective is to redevelop the temple and its surrounding area. Please note that this Jagannath Temple is 12th century temple and it is situated in Puri in Odisha. And this temple was built by King Anantwarman of Ganga dynasty. Nigerian American economist Ngozi Okonjo Aviela has been appointed as the director general of which organization? So, C has been appointed as the new DZ of WTO, that is World Trade Organization. C is from Nigeria and C is the first African woman to be appointed as the chief of WTO. What is WTO? It is World Trade Organization. It is an intergovernmental organization and the headquarters of WTO is in Geneva. Anti-radicalism bill which was in use recently is associated with which country? So it is associated to France. Recently France was in use because of this bill and this bill aims to strengthen the oversight of mosque, school and sports club. So this bill has been proposed to get rid of radical Islam. What is the name of Electric two-wheeler that has been launched by IIT Madras incubated startup Pi Beam. So the name of the startup company is Pi Beam. It is incubated by IIT Madras and it has launched electric two-wheeler. And the name of this electric two-wheeler is Pi Mo. So this vehicle can be charged faster than a smartphone. Giant leather back turtle nest in which Indian state or union territory? So this turtle is one of the species of sea turtles and it is the largest of these seven species of sea turtles. They are found in all oceans except Arctic and Antarctic and in Indian Ocean they nest at Indonesia, Sri Lanka and Andaman and Nicobar Islands. So Andaman and Nicobar Islands is the correct answer. Recently this entire issue was in use because of a government proposal for the promotion of tourism sector in the island. And as per environment activist, this will threaten the species of this turtle. Please note that this turtle species is given the legal protection as per the provisions of WPA, that is Wildlife Protection Act. This act was passed in 1972. Which union ministry is going to organize an event named Mushaira? And this event is related to poets. So, Ministry of Minority Affairs is the host of this event. Name of event is Mushaira. It is related to Poets. This was conducted on 20th of February and the theme was Ek Bharat Shrest Bharat. So this Mushaira is a poetic symposium and it is a part of culture of India and Pakistan. Now recently this Ministry of Minority Affairs was also in news because of Nai Roshni. It is a scheme of development of leadership for minority women. A nodal agency called DIU that is Digital Intelligence Unit is to be set up by which union ministry? So. This has been set up by Ministry of Communication. Present Minister is Mr. Ravi Shankar Prashad. So recently it was announced that this DIU will be set up and this is going to address the issues related to unsolicited commercial communication and related to the financial frauds which are done with the help of mobile phones. Now recently RBI also constituted a committee to prevent the financial frauds through digital lending. So to prevent digital lending frauds, recently RBI constituted a committee and this committee is headed by Jayant Kumar Das. World Petro Coal Congress and World Future Fuel Summit was organized in which Indian city? So this was organized in New Delhi. This was 11th summit. This was organized in New Delhi and during this summit, the petroleum minister highlighted that public sector companies in our country are investing money to upgrade so that they can produce BS6 fuel. Now what is this BS6? It is Bharat Stage 6. So this BS norms are related to emission standards. Who won the Prani Mitra award for 2021 by the Animal Welfare of India? So the name of award is Prani Mitra. It was given by the Animal Welfare of India and it was given to S. Chinme Krishna. So S. Chinme Krishna is the founder of Blue Cross of India. It is the country's highest award for animal welfare. Now, coming back to this Animal Welfare Board of India. So, the headquarters of this 
authority is in Ballabgarh. It is in Haryana. And this Animal Welfare Board of India is a statutory body as per the provisions of Section 4 of Prevention of Cruelties to Animals Act of 1960, which microblogging platform has commenced its testing of voice direct messages in India. So this has been done by Twitter. That means through DM, that is direct message. Now the users will be able to send the voice message. This is a feature which is being tested by the Twitter in our country. Twitter is a social media platform and the head of Twitter is Jack Dorsey. Recently Twitter was in news because Indian version of Twitter was recently launched and the name of this app is Coop. Which Union Ministry has unveiled the draft blue economy policy. So this has been done by Ministry of Earth Sciences. This ministry has unveiled the draft blue economy policy. What is the meaning of this term blue economy? That means exploring our ocean resources in a sustainable way. So this has been done by MOES, that is Ministry of Earth Sciences, present ministry is Dr. Harshwadhan. Recently, this MOES, that is Ministry of Earth Sciences was also in use because of India's first thunderstorm research test bed. And this is going to be in Odisha. And for this research test bed, MOES, that is Ministry of Earth Sciences collaborated with DRDO and ISRO. Actually under MOES there is IMD, that is India Meteorological Department and IMD has collaborated with DRDO and ISRO for this thunderstorm research test bed. The Juvenile Justice Act of 2015 was approved recently after the proposal of which Union Ministry. So this is under the regulation of WCD, that is Ministry of Women and Child Development. Recently few amendments were approved by the ministry. Now, as per the recent amendments, district magistrates and additional district magistrates are allowed to monitor the functioning of agencies which are implementing this particular act. Now, one homework for you. As per this Juvenile Justice Act, who is considered as a juvenile? Means up to what age a person is considered as juvenile? Please try to find it out. Which union ministry conducts all India surveys including survey on migrant and domestic workers. Today, almost all the questions are related to government or ministries because these are few initiatives. So you should be clear about them. So recently, Labor Ministry was in news because of this survey. Recently, Labor Minister Santosh Gangwar launched software applications for five All India surveys and these surveys will be conducted by Labor Bureau. Labor Bureau is under Labor Ministry. So these surveys will be conducted on migrant workers, on domestic workers, on employment generated by the professionals and on employment generated in the transport sector. And last one is All India Quarterly Establishment Based Employment Survey. Pahla Fagun is a spring festival and it is celebrated in which country? So it is celebrated in Bangladesh. Capital of Bangladesh is Dhaka. Now recently Bangladesh was in news because on the occasion of Republic Day ceremony, the tri-service contingent of Bangladesh participated in our Republic Day ceremony. And on this Republic Day ceremony, different states presented their tableau. And in this, the tableau of Uttar Pradesh won the award of best tableau in states category. Uttar Pradesh was also in news as recently, it collaborated with Israel for the water conservation in Bundelkhand region. Recently, Israel was in news because it normalized ties with Bhutan. Recently, Bhutan was in news as Bangladesh signed its first PTA, that is Preferential Trade Agreement with Bhutan. Actually, Bhutan was the first country to recognize Bangladesh. That was all for the day. Thank you and have a great day.